Hi Stampers, today we'll be making a card using the French foliage and curly cute stamp sets from Stamping Up. We'll also be using the Sizzex Biggs Leaves Number no. 2 die from Stamping Up and we'll be using the maple leaf shape. We'll also be using four cardstocks. We'll be using Cherry Cobbler, Pumpkin Pie, Very Vanilla and Whisper White. To start with we will attach our pumpkin pie to the cherry cobbler. And then we can sit that piece aside. We will then take our very vanilla and using a scratch piece of paper mine's very colourful we will take a sponge and our pumpkin pie ink pad and we will start on the scratch paper and just start circling and then go over onto the paper this stops any blotching happening from around the edges and then you just get that to the the color you wish I'm happy with that one there we will now take our cherry cobbler and our French foliage grip and I don't want this very dark so I'm going to stamp it once on the scratch paper and then put it onto our cardstock. And then once again onto the scratch paper and then onto our cardstock. We will then put the cobbler aside and we'll take our pumpkin pie. And we're going to use two leaves from the foliage, both in pumpkin pie. We'll start off with the big one and we're going to ink that and then onto the scratch paper and onto the cardstock. Just randomly put them where you want them. Oops, sorry. There we go. I'm just doing two of each stamp. So now with the second leaf, we'll do that twice onto the scratch paper and onto the cardstock. There we go, I'm happy with that too. Now, back to the cherry cobbler. We're going to take the little splotches from the French foliage and we're going to ink that and then we're going to put that onto the scratch paper twice and then just randomly put it down twice. And then once again, we're going to ink it twice onto the scratch and then twice onto our cardstock. And once more. like so. We're now going to put this card aside and leaving our ink pads open we're going to grab our Whisper White and once you have your Whisper White you're going to take the same pumpkin by sponge and just repeat the sponging you did for the, the vanilla Now we're going to grab our cherry cobbler and a sponge and we're going to just go around the edges in the cherry cobbler. Just don't press down very hard, you only want it very faint. But you also want to see a little bit of the pumpkin pie through too. So I'm happy with this. We're now going to take this piece of cardstock and our leaf die and we're just going to place that piece upside down over the maple leaf and run that through our Big Shot machine. To save time I've already cut my leaf out and what we're going to do now is take our cherry cobbler 
bit of ink on it and we're going to fold our maple leaf in half not all the way to the bottom you want to leave about a thumb gap and over that crease we're just going to use a little bit of the cherry cobbler ink and create oops sorry and create a vein and then we're going to do that to the, the two smaller leaves on the sides as well and that just gives it a little bit more character there we go Give me a little bit more down there. and now we are going to ink around the edges in cherry cobbler as well nice and quickly you just have to do this pretty rough and there we have our leaf we are now going to bring back our vanilla cardstock and we're going to take our sentiment from curly cute I'm using thank you then we'll take our stays on ink and I'm just going to put that up to the top right hand corner of the card like that we are now going to adhere this piece of vanilla cardstock down to the pumpkin pie on our card base There we go. Now we're going to take two dimensionals and cut them in half and place those onto the back of our maple leaf. And then we're just going to attach the maple leaf. Sorry, these things are horrible. We're going to attach the maple leaf to the bottom left hand corner of our card and there you have it that is our card for today thanks for watching bye